During the ups and downs of this year, one of the things that I really appreciated about St. Stephen was the way that people continued to try to make connections. How um, through our different ministries, we were still reaching out, trying to make the folks in our congregation and beyond in our communities feel connected. Um, from, you know, I delivered Easter egg hunt bags to my youth choir because we couldn't do that the first year to um, Miss Melissa's worship packets so kids could have something to do at home and follow along. And then all the different ways that um, members of our community che checked up on each other and um, how relationship. The confirmation, I had a daughter go through confirmation last year and I, I, the joy I felt getting to see friends' faces for the first time at, at church. We had a small ceremony when, when they, they were confirmed. That was um, so joyful. Um, I think my favorite thing was the youth videos. I really want to thank uh, Miss Julia, Miss Ann, all the uh, people that support them, the kids, their parents to get them there. Uh, those are so touching. And, and uh, the, the choir camp, how they do that last year, just uh, every Sunday see some of those videos, just the greatest blessing. The thing we didn't expect is that in the fall of last year, my brother Don um, and Kathy's dad Bill both passed away suddenly, only a few days apart. And what happened after that, the outpouring of love and support from our church family was just overwhelming. And I can't tell you what that meant to us, but what we did take away from it is that even though we weren't in the midst of our regular routines with worship and yeah, we missed small group and things like that, is that the church family uh, doesn't need those routines um, and that um, they showed up for us and we show up for each other when we need it most. So I guess when I think about the future and realize we still don't know what to expect fully is that I'm excited, we're excited, Kathy and I, about knowing we don't have to have those same routines necessarily and as a church we're still going to survive it and actually thrive. St. Stephen hadn't quite been the same during this pandemic. We've still been able to fill the needs for our community and beyond. Uh, we've continued to feed the homeless. We've given money to the Haiti relief, to the flooding in the Western North Carolina mountains and to UMCOR to help with Hurricane Fred. And just recently, we gave uh, $5,000 to CropWalk. None of this would be possible without the giving of our time and resources. So, even though we're not back to normal, we still have the opportunity to make that difference here in our community and around the world.